Molly and Kelly here with your October Naughty Knit Box. Woo! Okay, so one, we're in pink today because we're doing a special event for uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So happy Breast Cancer Awareness Month, everybody. So uh, this month, happy fall, we started out with mittens. Perfect thing for your cool fall mornings. Yeah. I love to keep a pair in my purse for that cold steering wheel in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we go. So your yarn this month <clears throat> is from the UK, the Uncommon Thread, and this is their BFL Light DK. Uh, perfect, perfect, perfect yarn for these mittens. I yes. love my mittens, by the way. <laughs> Mine do too, and they get softer. Mine yes. have already kind of softened up, which yes. is really nice, and, and I haven't even washed them. I did block mine, and once you block this yarn, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. So, we'd like to thank the Uncommon Thread, yes. and a um, lot of great colors. Good colors, good yardage, just absolutely a great, if, you're, if you want to try a different wool, uh, this is BFL, which is a blue face, blue face luster sheep. Um, it's a very sturdy yarn. This has a nice tight twist to it, and it was really just a dream to work with. Okay, you wanna go first or you want me to go first? Or are you gonna do goodies? I'll do goodies real quick. Goodies. So we got Candy by Stephen Smith. Uh, a little bit sweeter, it's actually really kind of nice. I feel like the sweeter ends of the tea. Your ukulele sample. Uh, sending everybody a couple pieces of Halloween candy, because can't go wrong with chocolate. So. And it's, yeah, Halloween. And it's Halloween, so, you know, <laughs> the more the merrier. Yeah. And then Holly Berry from Holly Berry Designs on Etsy, she made us all of these cute little lip balm, stitch marker, pouches with the clip. You can use them for anything and everything. Um, I've heard, like, doggy poo bags. If, oh, um, Megan had a great idea. Uh, a bag for your chibis or darning needles. Yeah, perfect size for it. Yeah, and it's got a clip so you can easily keep track of it in that endless... Uh, Yarn bag, I think we all have. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank, shout out to Holly Berry Designs. Okay, so we're going to delve right into your patterns. So, your knit pattern designer this month is Becky Sorensen. Becky is a native of Chicago. She also happens to be an opera singer who is living in Germany now. Mm -hmm. So, we'd like to thank Becky for uh, allowing us to use her pattern this month. Great pattern, a lot of fun. Um, she has um, little extras in her pattern so if you would like to put a little finger hole in your mitten back here so you can stick your little finger out to you know swipe those cell phones <laughs> um, all these touch screen devices <laughs> yeah there there is an adaptation to her pattern that allows you to do that um i thought that honestly i thought mine came out a tad small but i did block them and i have Pretty, I have fairly large hands, and these fit just fine. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed the pattern. I like them. They're really cute. They are very cute. So, uh, whether you choose to do the little hole in the back or not, up to you. Um, but a fun pattern. Okay. Awesome. My designer, she is from Iceland, and I apologize in advance because I am going to butcher your name. <laughs> um, Branja Bork, I believe is it's how it's pronounced, um, but she has designed the sprawling mittens. Spiral. Spiraling mittens. Words are hard. It's, um, it's early. It's early. <laughs> it's early. It's Sunday. <laughs> um, but absolutely a lot of fun. Um, you work in the back loops um, in a spiral. Um, you do work off of a chart, which this is the first time I've actually ever worked off of a chart pattern before. Yeah. Please do not be intimidated. It is actually really easy to follow along and understand. I tried to make it as big as possible so it was as clear as possible for you guys. Um, I don't see why you guys probably couldn't draft up a different design if you don't like hers, but it's a nice classic, you know, kind of subtle on the mitten. That's clear as mud for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only tips I would recommend for you guys is maybe not necessarily waiting as long to attack to the thumbs and do your thumbs first, because as you 
go down your mitten, you join them in. So I had to pull from the outside and the middle because I didn't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then kind of just keep trying them on because I got a little extra Yours are big. Mine are a little big, but if you kind of move the thumb up, you have a little bit more space so you can easily tuck it under your heavy coat. So your hands and wrists are protected in the upcoming cold winter. Mm -hmm. So, but a lot of fun. A lot, on, a lot of fun. And on the knit pattern, uh, with the, the amount of yardage that you get with the Uncommon Thread, which is, what do we got here? Oh, 225 meters, so you get about 250 yards here. Um, on the knitted ones, I don't know about the crochet ones, you might be able to, to get two pair of mittens out of one hank of yarn. I don't think that's going to happen for you for the crochet ones. Um, I did play a little bit of yarn chicken, but my tension between the two was a little, was different. I was a little sleepy when I made the second one. So, um, <laughs> crochet but, always takes up a little bit more yeah, of we, your yardage. We like to eat yardage. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Um, yeah, about 246 yards. Yeah. So anyway, that yeah. is your October box. Feel free to post your finished items on social media. Please use the hashtag Naughty Knit Box. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. And we can't wait for next month. I'm excited. With the holidays fun. approaching, we have some special things in store. Yes. So take care, everybody, and we'll see you next month. Thanks.